What's up, Ben? Oh, shit, Jake. You're the shit out of me. <laughs> You're getting jumpy in your old age, buddy. Another package for you to deliver. Man, you're running out of these three favors, buddy. Yeah, well, it's all doing us some good, I think. Same place? Yep, same place. Same time. Just hurry this time, okay? No problem. How's your shoulder? Oh, it's, God, it's killing me, man. It's just really tearing me up. That sucks. Yeah, we'll get out of here before anybody sees you, man. Yeah, hey, brother. Good Be careful. You. Thanks. What are you doing here? You got what you wanted? You may have what I wanted, but I had an appointment for tomorrow, and I said appointments for a reason. I don't want to hold on to it any longer than I have to. That good, huh? <laughs> I want out. You know who he is or what he took? No, I know he's somebody important. Probably a senator or something. And I know what I took is valuable, but I don't care. I still want out. You're out when I say you're out. I'm done. You're done when I say you're done. I have limits. I'm going to set your limits, and I've been setting your limits. You're out when I say you're out. Do you got it? Do you got it? Yeah. All right, then. Hit the road. Get out of my fucking house now. What is this, trick or treat? What are you doing in my house, man? I supposed to meet Renfro here. Renfro ain't here. What are you doing here? My boss sent me to pick up his files. So your boss is Carrasco? Yes. Well, you took Carrasco. I'll get him his files when I want to get him his files. Is that understood? He wants to make a truce with you. He wants to make a truce. Well, tell him I'll make a truce with him. But he's not getting his files. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? <laughs> boom, boom! Ha <laughs> ha! I wouldn't do that to you, man. A truce is a truce. So let's go get them files for your boss. Let's go. All right. All right. You trust me now? I trust you now. Right, you go ahead of me. Don't All worry, right. I won't shoot you in the back. We're still in my house. All right. I can't afford anybody coming to clean this shit. Really? All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get blood over my house, you know what I mean? Hey, got another pickup for you. Get over here ASAP in my house. Hurry. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I think I'm going to let you take this one, sweet. After this, I'm out.
May I help you, officer? Put your hands on the dashboard. Is there a problem, officer? Put your hands on the dashboard. Any weapons, explosives, anything I should know about? Anything in your trunk? I don't think so, sir. I'm just borrowing the car. Just borrowing the car, huh? Step out of your car, please. Don't have all day. Step out of the car. All right, put your hands on the car. No sudden moves. I'm gonna check that trunk. Look what we got here. You're one sick motherfucker. Get up against that car. Shit, I guess I bought the wrong car. not the first time you've heard me say I'm laying it down and walking away It's starting today I want my life back Give me the courage Help me find the strength To get down off this bar stool And never take another drink It's not as easy as you think But I want my life back well, I want to hold my baby All this. This? This is the rest of your life. You can wipe that look off your face. You know what you did. They let you off real easy for this. The DA was pushing for so much more. Running around in a stone vehicle with a dead body in your car? What the hell are you thinking? I don't know what you're talking about. Look at the crap cam. Okay. This? is for your parole officer. This is for your records. And this, this you need to give to the registrar's office. And this, this is for your parole officer to contact you at any time he wants to, and he will. He's a real hard ass, so don't get funny and try and leave town. How could I? I mean it. If you want to eat out, just order in. So basically, I'm still in. Well, what the hell do I have you for? You know, I put my ass on the line to get you this deal. You should be more grateful. Who are you staying with? My family, I guess. Look, Cam. Be so much a breed long, your ass will be back in jail. When do I get out? I mean, actually out. Uh, you need to take that up with your parole officer. 
Hey, there he is. Hey, little brother. How are you, bro? This is a fiddle, man. Got you some clothes? Thanks. Let's go to the bar. Why do I have to go to school? You go to school to have a better life. Yeah, but only if you actually apply yourself. Well, it didn't help Cameron. Yeah. What happened to him anyways? People make mistakes, but now Cameron has a second chance. What about Rennie? Hey everyone, listen up. I got my last check here, and I'm going to spend it welcoming Cameron back. Welcome back, Cameron. Well, you finally decided to drop on the bed, huh? Can you get two whiskeys? And then, when the vinegar hit the baking soda, it exploded just like a volcano would. Really? Cool. Yeah, it was. So, did you do anything interesting today? Let me ask you a question, Claire. How come, after school, you talk so much, but in school and to other people, you don't say a word? Because I don't really have to. And besides, they wouldn't listen to me anyway. But to the teacher and to the other kids, it makes you look like you're either stupid or you don't know the questions or whatever. Bye, Carol. Bye. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Can I ask you a question, Ash? Sure. Anything. Why do I look so different from you? I mean, our family is a big mess. Like, the Brannigans and the other kids in our class, they all look the same. Even the boys and girls. I don't know, Claire. We're gonna have to ask Mom on that one. All I know is that whatever we look like, we sure are from the same family. A family of misfits. You gonna call Right? something? You know, I really didn't think you wanted to hear from me or anything. And it got me thinking. Hey, Cameron, Ashley's here. Hey, Cameron, Mom, time to go. Why don't you come inside? Girl, Waiting for a dream to come true. I'd be dreaming about you.
What's wrong with you? Come on. Get your lazy ass up. It's about time you boys got up. What time is it? Time to go get a job. Come on. It's 2 p.m. Is that all? And what the hell is that? You remember your cousin Carol and that thing is Rosie. Hi! All right, now go get a job. Can we just rest first? Look, you should have been thinking about that last night before you tore up the town. Come on, let's go. All right! Hey. Hey, Camlin. It's good to see you back. Hi. Hey, Mona. Yeah. You want to ride to church Sunday? I don't think so. What's your problem? Come on, let's go. Okay. So, where are you guys heading? I don't know. Maybe we'll enlist in the army. <laughs> yeah, special forces. See, you've learned a lot in three years, just like I taught you. You think? I'm not so sure these are skills you should be developing. Hmm? Take care of things while we're gone. I always do. <gasps> Those stupid idiots. Don't you think you're being a little rough on them? You try talking to two grown men who don't work. I'm not saying that they aren't lazy, but don't you think you can encourage them just a little bit? Eat, Claire. Listen, Ashley. You know how they are. You got to be rough with them. And if you don't, they're going to walk all over you. They are grown and can look after themselves, meaning that they don't need to be bossed around. Well, if they're grown men, they better come back with jobs. Well, I thank them. Just a little patience. Claire, quiet. Okay, you go to your room and eat. Why am I always being shoved out of the room? What? It's not because uh, you're getting shoved out. It's because you're ten. You shouldn't treat her like that. She's another one that can grow up and be a criminal. Listen, Ashley. I hope that you have children someday so you can just see how shitty they can be. I think that in time, every child can be a blessing. But they need a role model. Are you saying I'm not a role model? Well, since you brought it up, that's exactly what I'm saying. You little shithead, you listen to me. Do you know why? Because in this life, it is do or die, and those freaking kids are close to death. No one is as far from this as my brother. Watch. Soon they'll get their act together. Oh, sure, honey, they will. You still got that thing? Dad gave me this. Yeah, I know, honey. Your father used to carry that around with him everywhere he went. And you know what? I think he loved that thing more than he did me. I don't blame him. Eat your food. You cooked it. And we don't have food to waste in this house, you little bitch. Shit. Hasn't changed a bit, has it? Nope. This town used to be home. Still is. Well, ever since those corporations been coming, it's their way or the highway. Change is good, but we still got the lake, and thank God for that. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I'm the only one here since you've been gone. It's been hard. Well, you gotta have faith. Faith? Yeah. Faith is a mirage. Just like this goddamn town. You used to love singing those spiritual hymns. Rock of Ages. Yeah, blessed be.
Listen, I ain't blessed, and neither are you. Well, what are you gonna do about it? I got something in mind. I hope that means praying we find jobs. Something like that. You know, what happened to you, man? What happened to me? What happened to you? We used to run this town fighting and tearing up the place. Yeah, well, you know what? Fighting will only get you killed. You gotta have a clean heart. You get out of life what you put into it, okay? You took it from me. Who? You know who? That holier than thou bastard. You gotta let go of your demons. Otherwise, they won't let go of you. I'm gonna let go, alright. You know, Karma will get that son of a bitch, okay? Let's go get him. Sometimes Karma needs a nudge. You know, when I was in jail, I met this guy named Sean. He told me he was a thief. 15 counts of theft, three of those being Grand Theft Auto. Gee, that's funny. I know a few thieves myself. Really? Yeah, I'm just kidding, bro. You know? No need to whisper, Renny, I did my time. It's no secret, and it ain't no secret how I got caught unless you forgot. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'd have told him everything if we would have got you off the hood. Now he's crying over spilled beer. Homeward and upward. No, no, you're not great. Actually, you know, I've been thinking a lot about ways to make ends meet for the family and all. And all? Like what? Like, what happens next? Look, I am not a thief. Anymore. And I ain't no blackmailing creeper of the night. Yeah. What if he was? Listen, you know what? I just spent the last few years thinking about how I want to live my life. And I don't want to live my life like that any longer. Gee, I'm sorry. I just thought... That's the problem, Renny. You're thinking. Just drink your beer and shut the hell up. I'm serious. I've been watching that Father Bella, and I just know he's up to no good. Have you lost your mind? Father Bella would ring you up before the cops did. He's crazy. Just yesterday, I saw that crooked pastor making no good deal downtown. Relax, man, bro. Why, why the hell are we even talking about this shit? Grow up! Alright. Think about it, alright? Alright. Hey, Sarah, can we talk? I'm working right now. You ever think if I want to talk to you? Why don't you just stay over there with your no good brother talking about old times and your criminal lives? Just listen, okay? I want to talk about us. I'm done with that, and so is he. I learned my lesson. Us ended when you left me. You may have changed, but he sure didn't. The way he sneaks around treating Taylor like crap, he's not right. I got it over my head. Things went wrong, my God, Sarah. What could I have done? You're not being such a dumbass. All right, I admit it. I'm an idiot. As long as you're being honest. I want to start over and turn over a new leaf. I want to make us a thing again. If you're getting a week or so, I can definitely assure you that I'm now a different person. How can I trust you after you made the same promise and then went and did something stupid and left me all alone? I promise I won't leave you again. I love you. It's my fault that I left you alone, and I want to show you that I've changed. Are you serious? Yes. If you're really serious, you'll show me. How about this Friday night? I'm working. I'm serious. I bet. I'll get you another whiskey. You can at least call me? Call when I can. You mean when you want to. Don't hassle me, Taylor. I haven't seen you in days, and you've had me worried sick, and you're here getting drunk at some bar. Shut up, Taylor. Go back home and wait for me to call. No, screw you, Runny. Screw me? Screw you and your housewife bullshit. If I want to be alone for a few days, a month, whatever, then I should be able to without having to talk to you. You know what? Whatever, I'm leaving. Good, get out of my face. Listen, man, don't talk to your girl like that. I don't need any love advice from you. 
Fair enough. Let's get the hell out of here. Why? We got toast tomorrow. You know, Cameron, you, you can't be slacking off like you were before. Yeah, I You've know. Gotta I know. Get a, you got to get a job. I know. No, you know, I don't think you know. All right? You've got to get your ass off your shoulders and get a job. Listen, I, I will start looking for something as soon as I can, all right? Yeah, well, you better because your brother and I, are, we've had some tough years, and we can't keep this family together so go get a job yeah i know i'll, I'll start looking for something yeah. uh, don't worry better all right come on come on ash time to go to bed i'm sure you'll be fine Kevin. i believe in you thanks ashley that means a lot. It's been a long time since anyone said that to me. season so at harvest time he looks but finds nothing let's bow our heads heavenly father we give thanks for your thanks what the hell's wrong with you at least you can do is pay attention I'm gonna listen to this night job screw this religion boy. shh we can discuss your religious views later. Just stay quiet. Now it's time for our offering. For our Father, for our Lord, I ask that you can contribute what you can. I'm sorry, we don't have anything to give today. The offering is being passed. I would like to touch on community. As some of you are aware, the Bureau of Land Management has made some of us offers, valuable offers, which will ensure security, subside any worries, bring peace to the town. I say we exercise these offers diligently. Welcome home, Cameron. It's really nice to see you. Thanks. Hello, Father. Um, I'm sorry we didn't have anything to give this time. I think it's been really rough lately. That's fine. Why don't we uh, 
talk about it over dinner. By the way, Cameron, I'm glad you're doing better. Thanks. I hope you find faith in the Lord. I hope he brings a new life to you. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I hope he does. Don't ruin your life, Cameron. You've been given a second chance. Did you believe? Did you believe that horse shit about giving up our land? See the gas, oil, or factory farms out. I don't give a shit about our families. Please. Just can it. What are you gonna do? Take on the government now? Well, I ain't gonna sit back and roll over. That's for damn sure. Bastard needs to pay. Hey, Cameron. Let's talk. Better go inside. Time for bed. Do I really have to? Yes. Now say good night and brush on the bed. Good night, Cameron. Good night, Rinfu. Go to bed too, Ashley. I have some cleaning to do. Make it snappy and go to bed. So you do this or what? I said just drop it, Renfro. I've got a new life now, like Pastor said. Listen. I've got it all worked out. It's a no-brainer. I've gotten real good at this since you've been gone. You'd be real proud. Hey, I can help. Go to bed, Ashling. He's just having a laugh. No one's doing anything around here but good, honest work from now on. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm right about this. Yeah, he's here. Hang on a sec. Yeah, hey Ash, what's up? Can it wait? I'm in the middle of something here. All right. All right. I'll be there. Let me guess. Your brother messed something up again. I'll be back to finish our conversation. I promise. And Cameron to the rescue. Thank you.
It's what the Lord teaches. Do they also teach you that bullets hurt? Only when monsters like you show up. Move out of the way! <laughs> Holy shit! What have you been up to? I have no idea who you're messing with, son. The sinners must pay their ties. Just shut up! I'm not your son! I said the sinners must pay. Move! Let's go! Shit, hang in there, Rennie. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to tell you. We gotta ditch this car fast. We gotta get to that motel on Route 88. We gotta plan. Your plans always suck, Rennie. <laughs> this hurts like hell. I know it hurts. Please, Case. please just listen. Oh, Alright, stop messing with it. I'm gonna die, Cam. You're not gonna die, Rennie. Hang in there. Tell Mom and the girls I love them. You can tell them yourself, Rennie. You're not gonna die, okay? Okay. Ah, please, Cam. Cam, do something. I am. Okay. Ah. Yes, sir. In how may I help you? It's a hotel, right? Yes. Why well, need a room? Well, that doesn't mean you can't be neighborly. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just been a long day, that's all. All right. There you go. Just put your John Hancock right there. Uh, it'll be $75. I'm assuming you're paying with a major credit card. Uh, no, all I got is cash. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but that'll be then a uh, $50 deposit. Thank you. And uh, there's your room key number two. And I need some towels too. Get your towels. <clears throat> uh, how many towels would you like? Four. Four towels.
very much. Now, what you do in that room is nobody's business but your own. But I want you to keep the noise down and no funny business. I'm just really dirty and tired. No funny business. Scout's on. Good night. We're all friends here. Smith, my ass. Third John Smith tonight. Uh, Martha! What's your up there? Take the shirt off. Leave a message after the tone. Yeah. Ashley, are you there? That's Ren. Ren has been shot. I don't know what to do. Everything's going down the shitter. God, I don't I don't know what to do. Here, put this on. Sense in here. I'm sorry, sir. Gun. What? My father, sir. My CO, sir. I'm gunner. Best damn scene gunner in Nam. And I told you I didn't want any nonsense in here. Yes, sir. I mean, gunner. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was singing so loud. Good night. said to me? I called you a little shit. No. After that, you told me that everything was going to be okay. That you were here to protect me. You don't have to protect me anymore. No, Rennie. <laughs> me? Rennie. Rennie. Rennie, no. Don't do this to me, Rennie. Rennie, don't mess around.
I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm supposed to protect you when I got you. I'm sorry. I love you, man. I'll be back. Please are the press involved in this, Wade. Whatever you say, just calm down. Don't tell me what to do. I want those heathens found and brought to judgment. I'm on it, all right. Aren't you supposed to protect us from heathens like this? What am I paying you for? Watch out, Bellow. I told you, I'm on it. How much money was stolen? It's not the money I'm worried about. It's a car. And it's content. I think you can handle it. Slow down on that jackass. I can handle it. We're talking content here. Uh, do you know who they are? Do you know where they went? No, but I know if I was a lowlife, I'd hightail in the mountains. If you were a lowlife thief. Something I can do for you all time. Can you just leave me alone right now? You don't recognize me, Cam? Where's your friend? I don't have any friends. I mean your brother, Renny. Easy now, Kelly. No reason to get stupid. I heard what you did at the motel last night. Look, I was alone, okay? There was no one in that room with me. Two check in, one checks out. <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you killing for the money? There is no money. Listen, your brother asked me to help him, and here I am. What are you saying? My needs are simple. What does that mean exactly? Cut me in. Cut you in. Yeah. You are crazy. <laughs> if you don't let me in, I'm gonna call the cops. Like I said, you're not getting cut in. Now just get out of my business and leave me alone, okay? Literally. Some concerned citizens called in your car. You shut up. I mean, keep it down, okay? How about this then? I got to get out of here and come in for now. You're in no position to go down that way. Let's go ahead and come. No, 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 you go right in the back. 
serious? Yeah, give me the bag. No, they stay with me. Give me the gun, because if they pull us over, can't do anything. You're gonna have to trust me. You better not cross me. Thanks for the accommodations. Just get in. Watch the speed bumps. Welcome to Hotel Ben, dumbass. I want my money. Okay, let me out of this thing and we'll split it up. You know what, seeing how I'm doing all the work, I want 75% now. No way, we had a deal. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. So now I want it all. Tell you what else I'm gonna do there, Camden. If I get any trouble from you, you go visit your brother. You're not gonna like that. Or you might, I don't know. Now just lay there for a little bit. This'll just make you sleep real good. Have sweet dreams, Camden, sweet dreams. <laughs> hey, you crazy old coot! <coughs> Let me out! <coughs> What do we have here?
Look at that, he's handcuffed. Oh my God. Bobby, you don't handcuff him, he's a victim here. Let's get these handcuffs off of him. God damn it, they handcuffed him. Ah, that's better. But I'm sorry, I, you know, some of us are just rude around here. You want something to drink? Huh? Let's get you some water. You're thirsty. Let's get you some water here. There you go. That should be just right. Look, you can cut the good cop, bad cop bullshit. <laughs> I've already been through it. It's cute how you two practice your little routine here together. I guess you're looking to take this to Broadway or maybe uh, win an Oscar with it. Go ahead and have a sip, I insist. <clears throat> All right, now you have my respect. Why don't you tell me where my briefcase is? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You and your friends stole my briefcase I want to pack. Oh, what? The briefcase with your child porn collection in it? Oh, man, this is a real thirsty son of a <laughs> bitch. <sighs> That one didn't hurt as much. Where's your partner? Who? It's a two-man job. Why don't you tell us? We know it was a two-man job. You found me tied to a tree. You think I know where my partner's at? You can save us a lot of trouble and time by telling us where your partner is in that briefcase when... Every second brings you closer to redemption. Tell me where my belongings are, and I'll make it worth your while. This guy's dying of thirst. That one hurt. Ben! His name is Ben. That's all I know. We're gonna find your friend. In the meantime, have fun in prison. Are you kidding me? I warned you, didn't I? How's it look? It doesn't look good. You gotta give him something. The motel clerk could make you. You gotta give him your partner or you're gonna take this whole rap. That's a big gun. I mean, I don't know if your folks want you to be holding them. You know, that could go off. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm just going to uh, go away. I'm going to go ask around town and, and maybe... Uh, Someone will know where the folks are, so if you have a nice day, okay? Father Bellow, a friend of his. They're keeping him safe in my parish. I want to speak with him. Well, he badly wants to talk with you in person, but you have to leave now or you'll miss him. Okay, are you the large parish in the valley? I am the light in the valley of the shadow of death. Is that a yes? Most certainly. Okay, do I need to bring him anything? 
He just said for you not to talk to anyone and come as fast as you can. Okay, I'm leaving now. Park in the back of the parish by the dumpster. There's a side door. I will leave unlocked, slip through and go to the confession booth. Enter inside and lock the door. Okay, just tell him I love him. Come tell him yourself. Come in the back, Sarah. So you're the wellspring of poison that flows into this Let town. Let me go. Where's Camlin? Camlin! Let me go! Five minutes. Who's here? The father. Hello, Cameron. You've only just begun to pay your debt back to him. Yeah, tell him to be patient. I'm good for it. Oh, he has more patience than you can fathom. Unfortunately, I do not. Earlier today, I lost my patience and had to collect from a young woman. Congratulations. See, I know how the devil works in scum like you. I knew that if I came here and asked you for my files today, you'd probably tell me to go to hell. Preacher and psychic. See if you can guess where the files are. Are you wishing for me to collect another debt? You're crazy. Do whatever you want. I'd like to show you a photo I took earlier today of a young woman. Her name is Sarah. She paid her debt in full. Bastard! Don't scream for the gods. They'll just delete it. Besides, no one will believe you anyway. You're dead! I'm impatient, remember? And now that you have a better understanding of who I am and the holy work I do, why don't you tell me what my files have before I lose my patience again? Screw you. Lost soul. Get your hand off me. Cameron? 
Why are you crying? Are you okay? No. This is a screwed up world. I know. Do you? Yes. I do. I love you. I know, and I love you too. Listen. Information is power. This is all about a black briefcase full of files of information on people. Information that's used to extort money and collect powerful favors. And Rennie and I stole that briefcase of files and someone stole it from us. His name is Ben. He lives at the end of Holland Drive by the lake. The house with the boathouse at the end of the street. Can you remember that? Yes. Holland Drive, last home with the boathouse. Why are you telling me this? Oh, if you need to, you have to use it to save your life. Otherwise, stay away. Ben is a very dangerous man. A lot of people have died because of what's in that briefcase already. Is Rennie dead? How? I'm sorry, I couldn't protect him. How did he die? He was murdered. By who? By that deranged preacher who had just left. I need you to get a bus home now and stay there. Take care of everyone. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. You need to go now. Guard! Guard! Don't worry about her, she's perfectly dead. Did I say dead? She's perfectly passed out. We had quite a time talking and drinking some wine. Majestic is the holy work I do. Look how scared you are. Now that you're out of darkness from which you like to hide. Just another broken branch from a rotted family tree. Long as your aunt, isn't she? Isn't she? Sweet Claire, is your half sister? And then there's Rennie and Camlin, your half brothers. But they both have different mommies and daddies, don't they? You're all bastards, all of you. Your elders are either dead from drug and alcohol abuse or in jail, and the ones in jail are boring and like to talk. And that's why Camlin told you what I need to know. Didn't he? I'm gonna rip her neck all the way around. He 
told me where the files are. And? I'm gonna rip her neck all the way around. Time is the Lord's luxury, not ours. Some guy named Ben has them. Ben, you say? He lives out by the lake. Sounds like the Ben I'm thinking of. You and your sister are going with me. No! Let it stay! No, I don't trust sinners. You're going with me and I'm keeping her neck as it's No! Please, please, please! Get out! Clear him out! Grab his keys and take your phone! Move! house, I get the files, you go free. You can guarantee my sister's going to be safe? Yeah. Deal. Blow me? We need some help here. I said we need some help here. Okay, what do you need? We're being followed. We need some help. Well, you girls slip around back then. Go. Hey, Mona, is that you? <laughs> hey, so we just want what we came for. Now, you guys just need to get the hell out of here. You heard him. Yeah, as soon as we got what we came for. <laughs> hey, e easy, buddy. We'll, we'll leave. Swoosh, let's go. Let's go now. All right. Get out of here, man. All right. <laughs> Why don't we just go to the police? We can't go to the police, Claire. The police are in on this thing. Cameron said we have to go to Ben's. Welcome to Uncle Ben's. I don't know why you little kids 
think you can take advantage of us old people. It ain't working. You don't even vote yet, and you're trying to tell us what to do. Here. Teach you a lesson. Teach your family a lesson. Teach everybody a lesson. That's what I'm about. be long now. You just sit tight. I don't think you're going to worry about voting anymore for sure. It's going to be a good week. Stupid ass kids. Jake, you ever knock? What have you gotten into this time? Why don't you get in and help me dig? I need some help bad. Ben. You didn't say anything about this on the phone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you, you know, serious? You know what's good about this, Jake? Listen to me. After this is done, we have everything. I we sure don't have to wait so. no more. I sure hope so, Ben. Just seems like you got yourself in too deep this time. Yeah. What the hell? Good evening, gentlemen. I need my briefcase. A monsignor might say, I must not only punish, but punish with impunity. I must fulfill my vow to the Lord in the presence. Ben had the files, he made a deal with Bellow. I was in over my head. I had to play along. Everything's changed now, though, girls. 
everything. What about us? I'll tell them you're innocent. I'm a cop. What do I have to do? Nothing. I got to get the files to the guy down in Miami, but after that, we're home free. Well, it's about time, Wade. What have you got to say? <laughs> Guess again, carasshole. Well, well, that's a voice I haven't heard for quite a while. Is that you, Uncle Ben? None other. <laughs> you already had your turn in the sun. Oh, ye of little faith. I thought Father Bellow took care of you. Yeah, well, you know, thank God for Cavalar. And, you know, the dumbass should have probably checked my pulse before he walked away. But, where's Wade? Actually, he couldn't make it to the phone. I killed him and your little Mexican errand boy. Okay, fine. So, what do you want from me, Ben? Before Wade decided to leave us, he actually gave me some files, the Bigfoot files. He said I should probably deal with you on my own. Is that right? Huh. And where the fuck are you? Right now, Uncle Ben. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll be in touch. In fact, I think about three months, I'll get a hold of you. So don't look for me. I'll look for you. Yeah, it's me. Listen, I need you to trace a call and fuel up the jet right now. Time for my turn in the sun. Hey, buddy. That place I can hide for a few months. <laughs> I swear, Ben, I don't know how you do it. Yeah. You stay on the boat if you want. Puerto Rico, where are you at? Where? Right behind you. Get down here, man. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Puerto Rico? How's it going, Benny? Listen, see this right here? Yes, sir. You take care of this, okay? Three months, you meet us in our spot. Three months, okay? Claro. You take care of this. You got it? Gotcha. If you want to retire, this is your key right here. Take care of it. Well, I don't know be three months. See you there. Be careful. We have that. Take care of it. Three months.
Mama loved her booze more than raising us kids Had to fend for ourselves A family of misfits A broken branch from a rotten tree Is what my hometown thinks of me And just out of jail on parole Follows me everywhere I go Sure could you To this place Never wanted to be Standing at the point of live or die There's desperation and no one cries But this is the rest of my life Tell me what I'm supposed to do Sure